Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to day 15 of our Ramadan Kids Challenge. And today is a very special uh, uh, session today as we are celebrating the birthday of Imam Hassan alayhi salam. So please do take some time out today to wish him a happy birthday. To begin with, we are going to watch a short clip together about the birth of Imam Hassan. It was that special time of the year again. A month where all the believers fast from morning till night in worship of their Lord Allah. Yes, it was the holy month of Ramadan. In the city of Mecca, on the 15th of holy month, a very special event was taking place in the house of Imam Ali salam. You see, everyone was eagerly waiting the birth of the first grandchild of the Prophet Muhammad Finally, the sound of a crying baby echoed throughout the small house and the beautiful baby was gently placed in the arms of his loving father, Imam Ali salam. Imam Ali held his son tightly and wrapped him in a pure white blanket while gently giving him kisses. Prophet Muhammad was overjoyed seeing his beautiful grandchild and asked Imam Ali, What will you name him? Imam Ali replied, O oh Rasulullah, how can I make such an important decision without asking you first? Only the name that you choose will be given to this child. The Prophet smiled and replied, And I will not name this child without asking Allah first. All of a sudden a bright light shone from the sky down to earth, and Angel Jibreel came down from heaven and said, O Prophet, Salamun Alaikum. Allah sends his salam and congratulates you on the birth of your beautiful grandson. Allah has sent me down with a special news of a name for this baby. Since you and Imam Ali are like Prophet Musa and his brother Harun, Allah wishes you to name this child Shabbar just like the son of Harun. Prophet Muhammad asked, O Jibreel, how do you say Shabbar in Arabic? Jibreel smiled and said, Hassan. The Prophet was very pleased upon hearing this beautiful name and announced to everyone in the room, Allah has named this child Hassan. Hassan means goodness or the doer of good. Everybody smiled and rejoiced at the Prophet's announcement. What a wonderful name for a child who would grow up to be the best of the good doers. So that was quite interesting to find out how Imam Hassan al-Islam got his name which was sent down straight from Allah. Imam Hassan, or the word Hassan, means a doer of good. Now let's look at Imam Hassan's family tree. So Imam Hassan oops, um, was the oldest son of Imam Ali alayhi salam and Sayyidah Fatima, peace be upon her. His brother was Imam Hussain alayhi salam and his sisters were Sayyidah Zainab and Sayyidah Qasun, peace be upon them. And then he had a baby brother, Hazrat Mohsin, who unfortunately died before birth. Now let's find out some facts about Imam Hassan. So today we don't have our sparkly book, but we have a sparkly box with lots of facts about Imam Hassan alayhi salam. So let's find out some more about Imam Hassan. Right, so let's see what our first fact is. Now this fact is that he was very kind and always shared whatever he had. So this was very true, Imam Hassan was known for giving away everything he had. Sometimes even just all the food he had, he would give that away and he would stay hungry. That's how kind and care caring he was. Now let's see our next fact. Imam Hassan died on the 28th of Safar and is buried in Jannat al in Medina. All right, so that's another fact. Let's find out something else about Imam Hassan. Now the next fact is that he is our second Imam and I'm sure you all know that now. And I know that you've been learning your imams, the names of the imams, so well done. Um, let's see our next fact. A bad man um, killed him by giving money to his wife to poison him with grapes. So he died by, uh, by being poisoned. All right, now let's see. Next fact. His title was Al Mujtaba. So his name was Imam Hussein, but his title, Imam Hassan, but his title was Al Mujtaba. And let's see, our last fact we have 
is that he was born on the 15th of Ramadan um, in Medina. All right, so remember those facts because it's important that we know about our Imams. Now let's move on. We're going to talk a bit about something called the Peace Treaty. After the death of Imam Ali alayhi salam, Imam Hassan alayhi salam was to be the leader and he had told the people that he would guide them on the right path um, in, in accordance to Allah's guidance and the Quran. However, the ruler of the time was not happy with this and he wanted to be more powerful. Therefore, he caused quite a lot of trouble for Imam Hassan alayhi salam. So Imam Hassan wanted to deal with this peacefully and as it emphasizes in the Quran, we should work hard to try and come to an agreement that will bring peace. We, will try, we should try our best not to fight and cause arguments. So therefore Imam Hassan created a peace treaty where he asked uh, the leader, the ruler, to rule the country according to the Quran and the example of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. He told him not to harm the people or the Elul Bayt. And he told him not to choose a leader after him, but that the role should go back to the Imams. Now the ruler at the time signed this, however did not follow this through. He, at the time, he kept trying to kill Imam Hassan alayhi salam, and eventually he convinced the, uh, the Imam's wife to poison him. And then after that, he made his own son the ruler. Now the Quran makes it clear that we must not start a fight or war, or must always try our best to make peace. However, Allah explains how important it is to treat people well, always behaving fairly. He teaches us how we must protect the people who are weak, and being treated wrongly. If there is no other way, then we must fight to defend and help the people to bring true peace. All right, so that, and this is what Imam Hassan showed us and uh, very well through trying to create this peace, peace treaty at his, of his, uh, in his time. Now, our Islamic reminder. This is in the Quran, Surah 49, Ayah 10, and it says humanity is but a single brotherhood. So we are all one family, brothers and sisters. And we should make peace, all right? And we don't want to make arguments. We should always try and make peace. So remember that, please. And now your activity. So I'd like you to create a poster or a, um, a piece of work about making peace. So here we've just used the hands and shown a heart in the middle. And it says here, my behavior and manners are always peaceful. I try my best not to hurt or upset people. All right, so I'd like you to create something like that and I look forward to receiving um, what your designs. Now, let's move on to our challenge. Are you ready for the challenge? Let's have a look at challenge 15. Now we're halfway through our challenges. Let's have a see, look at what our challenge is today. Right, your challenge today is to do something to celebrate the birth of Imam Hassan alayhi salam. So it is up to you. You could make a cake, you could create, make some decorations, you could make a card. I would love to see what you do in order to create uh, to celebrate the birthday of Imam Hassan alayhi salam. Right, I look forward to receiving your work. Thank you for watching. Uh, keep watching to see the work that has been sent in, and inshallah we'll see you tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum. Imam Muhammad Taki, Imam Muhammad Ali Anaki, Imam Hassan Askari, Imam Hamad Nahdi, Imam Hassan Hamad Wadi. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Imam Ali, he was born in the Kaaba. Imam Hassan, his wife killed him with poison. Imam Hussein, he died in Kaaba. Imam Zain al-Abidin, he wrote the Sefer Sajadiyah. Imam Bakr, he was born in first Rajab. Imam Jafar Sadiq, he was a math teacher. Imam Musa Qazim, he was killed by Harun al-Rashid. Imam Ali Raza, he is buried in Mashhad. Imam Taki, he became Imam age 8. Imam Ali Naki, he was born fifth Rajab. Imam Hassan Askari, he married the Princess of Rome. Imam Muhammad Mehdi, he is still alive and we are waiting for him. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad.
Ramadan. We love you, Ramadan. We miss you, Ramadan.